morning guys it was such a long night for me last night and I'm kind of scrambling to get JJ to school um I had like the worst asthma attack I've ever had in my life last night and the inhaler didn't make it any better it took like two hours to recover it was really bad it was really scary so I think I'm gonna call my doctor and try to make an appointment because although I've had asthma since I was like 13 I've never had an asthma attack um only one other time and it wasn't like the one last night so it was really bad and kind of scared me so I'm gonna do that and I gotta go grocery shopping and stuff today so yay me guys so I just got off the phone with my doctor's office and because I'm a new patient um in their network I gotta go to a new patient appointment so I actually have to wait until not this Friday but next Friday the 24th which really sucks I'm like I'm having a really hard time breathing still today. I'm really short of breath. Um, I do know that allergies and pollen and dust and stuff can contribute to asthma attacks. It's been windy, like super windy here um, the last couple days, and I don't see the wind dying down too much. Today's not too bad yet, but I do see the wind starting to pick up a little bit. So I do need to be maybe a little more cautious. Maybe I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do. It does suck. Luckily, JJ has an inhaler, so I used it. <laughs> um, yeah, asthma sucks. I feel literally like an elephant is sitting on my chest. And, you know, you breathe in, you go, I can't feel the air, like, enter all the way into my lungs right now. And so I just feel, like, winded. And I still got to go grocery shopping probably have to take Nathan with me so I push a stroller while I'm marking off things and pulling a car as I'm putting shit into it it's a lot of work um and it's hard to find a good cart so I gotta do that um I don't know I'm just uh I don't feel good today um at all I just feel kind of like shaky and my heart's beating a little faster than it usually does really short of breath like this sucks anybody who has asthma knows my pain right now and like I said I'd never had an asthma attack and now I have one I'm like I never want to experience it again because it was scary um like I said Nathan's nurse is super concerned about me and that's so sweet like you know it's nice to know that people care but you know she she wanted me to go to the ER last night I didn't think it was a good idea for me to drive and Harley couldn't come home so kind of just stuck doing normal things. So I'm gonna sip a lot of water today, try to make sure I eat adequately, make sure that, you know, it's not because I'm not eating enough and um, eat the right things because that's important. So I like made a breakfast burrito this morning, had eggs and, you know, I had some juice with it. I took my vitamins. So we're good, right? Right. This right here, definitely gonna wait for later. I am just not feeling good. Dishes, there's not that many. I'm not really too concerned about it. Still figure out dinner. Was going to make meatloaf because JJ wanted it. Don't know how I'm feeling about doing all that, but these dishes, bleh. So in order to make sure I can make a more effective use out of my shopping trip, well, I'll get down. Oh, crazy cat. Um, I have decided that I am making this. I go shopping every other week. So this list is, has the days of the week on it. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, for the next two weeks. And I'm going to use that to write down different um, dinner ideas because that's like our big issue around here. Lunch is easy. Harley will have hot dogs or a hamburger or we'll make a sandwich or whatever. Um, so I just add those things into my list. But my biggest issue is trying to figure out something for dinner. Um, I look up recipes for quick and easy meals. I look up all kinds of things. But I always seem to go back to like the same 10 shit we eat all the time. So sorry guys. I'm not huge I guess on variety in my brain I try to come up with good recipes and then we find something we like and then we eat the shit out of it and then we don't have any more ideas so off to the grocery list I go wish me luck my cat is on crack or you know catnip yay he's so crazy he's laying in the spot where it was and he's just rolling all over my table which is super disgusting considering I just cleaned it off Milo, what are you doing, weirdo? You getting pepper wasted? The papers feel good. You smelling the the memories of the catnip in that spot? 
What are you doing? Oh, he wants to give lovins to everybody at home. My cat is weird. Do your cats do this shit? I mean, he is really on one right now. Milo, what the hell are you doing? Too much. Too much cuteness. Although, you need to get down because it's fucking gross. Get off my table. Get off my table. Get off my table. This is becoming a little much. He's like trying to make love to these papers. Look at this. This is just too much. Off of some catnip. You don't even have any. What's up, man? Paranoid much? What are you doing? And now you're going to take a bath on my dining table. Ugh. What is up with that spot? Because the catnip was there? You spaz, what are you doing? Well, at least you're cute. Of course Milo's not doing it now, but he was sticking his paw in and pulling out cat food to eat. I just thought it was really weird. He like pulls the food out and then eats it. What are you doing, Milo? Do you see this? This is so weird. Do your cats do this shit? My cat is high as F. Milo, what are you doing? You're so lazy you have to pull it to you. Milo, stop moving your damn shit. Milo. Oh, now your paw's wet. How fun is it? You gonna pull the food out with your paw again? You're definitely the weirdest cat I've ever had in my life. And we had Coco, who tried to nibble on JJ when he was sleeping. You do the thing with your paw again? You eat like a normal cat. Why do you pull it out with your hand? That's so weird. Or your paw, whatever. Hey guys, I'm pretty proud of myself. I compiled a list and kind of like a makeshift calendar of things we're going to eat for the next two weeks. 14 whole days. And I am going to spend less than $100. I am stoked. And they're all like full meals. Like an example meal would be, you know, tonight we'll have meatloaf with mashed potatoes, veggies, and a salad. You know, um, next Wednesday, parmesan crusted pork chops, noodles, veggies, and a salad. These are good meals. Um, to be fair, I do have uh, my chicken already for the week ahead because I have it, buy it all the time when it's on sale. And I do have um, some pork chops. But everything else I do have to buy for my dinners, and I'm so happy. Ugh, did you guys hear that wind? I wasn't kidding, it's picking up again. Hey guys, so RFSJ tagged me in this Batten Veda, I guess tag, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, basically, Veda is videos every day in April, which means that it's for people who want to try to vlog and trying to get in the swing of things, I think, and get themselves out there and meet other people. I am assuming so. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it, although I have been struggling, especially on the weekends for some reason, so I don't know. I'm trying. Hopefully you find me entertaining. If not, then don't watch me. I don't know. Um, so what I need to do is answer three questions <clears throat> and post them and then tag three people. It's not that hard. So the first question is, the last photo I took on my phone, it totally was a selfie, it was like that, because I started this thing, it's called the 100 Days Beautiful Challenge, and I'm asking people to do it because I feel like too many people are down on themselves, have low self-esteem, their confidence is not high, and I totally am one of those people. Um, I'm really not one of those people that care what people think about me. But I'm kind of doing this for myself to kind of gain some more confidence and feel pretty or whatever. Um, so that's the last picture in my phone. Nothing really exciting. Um, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten would probably be alligator, but it is really good. Like, 
I would eat alligator again. Not a problem. It was made into a sausage. It was kind of spicy and it was like super delicious. So that's, give it a try guys. If you have like, I got it at a winery uh, where I live. So good. So I totally suggest you try it. And the last question is, if I could only eat one thing for the rest of my life, what would be? Hands down, spaghetti. Love spaghetti. It is my favorite, like, real meal. So good. Um, it's really delicious. I don't know why I like spaghetti so much. I just do. It's my favorite. So now I got to tag three people. So I am gonna tag Zach Attack and Wit Hand Fan. And Mary Monster Kitty. Mary Monster Kitty, I know you don't really vlog. This is a good opportunity. I know that you're taking classes. Do it. Do it. I know where you live. Anyway, so that's this part of my situation. Yeah, I know I'm laying my write things down and stuff. Oh well. Guys, I feel like an idiot. Um, I'm making meatloaf for dinner. And it's been in the oven for probably... A good 45 minutes but that doesn't do any good when you forget to turn the oven on who the fuck does this shit right here this does that so instead of eating dinner around 5 30 it'll probably be closer to like 6 6 15 I know I'm not the only one who does this shit you've done it you have fucking done it don't say either act like you did it Me? you've done it no you're not allowed to use the oven Wait, let's them. I'm gonna get to play this with Sandy in a minute. Probably not. It's windy. Mmm, meatloaf, green beans, mashed potatoes and gravy, salad, milk. That's what's up at our house for dinner. What you having? Yeah, you feeling about meatloaf? Oh, he has cream corn. I don't do corn, but he likes it. Yeah? Alright. Guys, I totally fell asleep in don't know what happened to my night. I'm enjoying some microwave s'mores. They're actually delicious. And I'm going to go to dollars? bed. I will probably edit this tomorrow or something. I just haven't been feeling so great since last night. So we'll see. So later, guys. Later, guys.